Black Warrior Lures. Uh, first, so thanks all of you who have, um, you know, supported the, uh, you know, the flood thing. You know, the guys from Serve Pro came out. They've been coming out every day checking it, and it's been drying slowly. And they finally, after about three, four days, they came out Monday. Here it is Thursday, and they're finally uh, done. Uh, so it's dry. The house is dry, so now I can get... Uh, Get a work crew in here and some guys I know work construction to um, get out here and start pulling the carpet out and things like that. And, but, so, while I'm sitting here, uh, it's raining outside. As you can hear, the raindrops. I have the window open whenever I'm working with super glue. <laughs> I don't want to be sniffing glue, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, so I open the windows to get a nice draft in here and, it, and it's raining. And uh, so... I'm just sitting here prepping some hooks and things for the Mickey fans and silver bleeders and things that some of you guys have bought and so 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 thanks all of you who've bought and um, as a result of this uh, whole damage water damage thing so I'm just sitting here at the fly tying vice getting things going and just figure why not just record something and just coming to you from the audio on the camera itself so it doesn't have the cool big bassy sounding voices the other cool microphone with the compressor and stuff on the in the other room but hey it sort of suffices to tell you guys what you know what's up and how it's going so the insurance company is uh, working with me um, and they've they've been quite generous to I always have to count those wraps there I always do five but you know not getting all details of all that stuff but uh, you know they're they're helping uh, greatly, greatly. So props to State Farm, sort of a customer testimonial there, and props to uh, you know Serve Pro. Uh, they're the guys who, who are very professional guys uh, working with me. Uh, you know, so there you have it. So what I'll do is just keep on tying flies here, or at least as long as the camera will record. I guess this thing has a 30 minute record time, these SLRs. The SLR cameras have a 30 minute record time, or 29 point something, or whatever. That's the industry standard there. So we gotta make 30, how many I gotta make of these? I think I gotta make 32 of these hooks, prep 32 of them, or 36, I can't remember. Always do more of these hooks than I actually need for the particular tie. So, anyway, the sale's continuing. Uh, if any of you guys want to continue to contribute to that, uh, the sale is going to go all the way to midnight April 2nd, 2016. And, You know, you have until then to get that done. Then I have to just, you know, the, the the sale just ends. I mean, the computer, the, the server, just or whatever, just automatically just puts everything back to the regular price. Um, and that's just how that's going to work. And uh, what do you think about this camera? I mean, I I like the I hate the audio on it, but I have a very good microphone for that. You've, you guys have heard me talk on that microphone. Uh, I prefer a real microphone, but the video, I like the video quality of this. Probably won't be taking it out on the river simply because, you know, it's not weatherproofed. Uh, it's not a weatherproof camera. Um, but if I had a cameraman, I would definitely, you know, if you had a cameraman on the, on the boat with you, I would definitely have him running some kind of setup like this, you know, shoulder mount thing or something with a shotgun microphone and we may be able to rig something up but I just don't want to get this camera wet it's just not it's just not an all weatherproof camera so but it shoots well for these sorts of things here uh, but anyway check the links below if you're one, two, three, four, five. if you're interested in that if you're still interested in um, helping out with that because it's still it's still going to take some time probably going to Wish, wish everybody happy Easter and hope you all the best there. Um, you know, that's that whole story of God coming to earth, sending his son, dying for everybody. Because the whole human race has screwed up everything. 
I mean, just all you gotta do is turn on the news, man. Uh, so we needed somebody to save us. So God sent His Son. His name's Jesus Christ. Uh, you guys have heard the story before. I still tell it from time to time because it's a story that needs to be heard. And uh, you know, one of the things that I see just in the news, and you know, just people—it's just. You know, people just don't want God now. You know, when I was a kid, I just remember every people went to church just because that's what you did. But now it's just, you know, it's just it's just not a part of our culture anymore. Sort of a, and uh, and in some ways it makes things easier because you can tell the story with a fresh sort of there's a freshness to it, the way Saint Paul did, you know, in Antioch and all these other places and. But at the same time, we've lost something, I think, as a culture. But but anyway, that's just a little bit of philosophy and, and uh, uh, or whatever. But, uh, and so, I mean, that that's available for everybody. I mean, God just does that, you know. Cost him everything, cost us nothing. But anyway, so we'll just, uh, now those of you who've ordered, you've, you've seen these, I'll be tying them on these hooks here, but I'm out of this, uh, the white stuff here, and I have, generally I use these, but I just tried to get rid of all the white ones there, these are just terracotta, it's just, uh, it's the same company, same material, Sculpey. Uh, this one's a little bit more brittle, this one's a little bit more supple, but they're both pretty tough, you know, tough stuff. Um, and so, uh, so those of you who get them, you'll just notice that it doesn't make any difference. The fish don't care the color of the stupid thing there. So I'm just kind of rambling, talking. Normally, when I'm tying these up and I have to do these tying sessions for people who buy the lures, I, I usually I watch these old documentaries on hoop on YouTube. You know, I have them playing in the background or whatever. And uh, these old Discovery Wings, you know, aviation is one of my favorite subjects, and, and so that's always fun. Um, but anyway, I will probably sign on off here after I get done with this guy and that's just a quick update on what's happening here at Black Warrior Lures and hopefully I really want to get out fishing this Saturday but it's raining the weather's still unstable and you know that time I would have been out working on the boat trailer I'm not and so that's going to delay things, and so who knows, man. <laughs> Four, five. Chop. Spread out the super glue to cover all the thread, and so it makes it one solid unit. I've tried hot glue on this, it's worthless. <laughs> Super glue is the only thing. I think uh, epoxy, like my boat builder's epoxy, would probably be just as good, but it takes too long to dry. But anyway, there we go. And I'm going to sign off. <laughs>